parts. One part, like continue that previous question. Like my good is not someone else's good. Like today is cloudy. Somebody is very happy. Like a uh, prop would be happy. Who's like who think like a cloudy is a good weather. Somebody else will be like unhappy. Like it's not sunny. So how do we know like which is good and which is bad in terms of in a mind? And second question is like uh, not related to this. Uh, it's like how do we calm our thoughts? Like the old monkey of thoughts keep on coming when you meditate or try to be in a place. This thing, that thing, everything. It's not like always a negative. It's like series of things come keeps on coming. How do we negate that thought? Uh, yeah, actually that's uh, true what you say, okay? Because uh, there's not something like example, if I like um, somebody like chocolate ice cream, another one like uh, strawberry ice cream, you know, there's not something good or bad. So what we call good or bad in Buddhist philosophy is not related to that. It's not related to external sensorial objects such as sights and sounds, etc. So what is good or bad is more what creates happiness and what creates suffering. So for sure, like the chocolate ice cream maybe produce uh, happiness for someone or suffering someone who doesn't like chocolate or ice cream, etc. But that's not the real happiness we look for. The real happiness is something, again, from the inner consciousness. So what we call like real good or what we call like positive or virtue is a real cause of happiness. So external objects are not real cause of happiness. They produce for a time being happiness, but if you eat too much ice cream, you feel suffering or so. <laughs> First ice cream will be good after you feel too much cold or too much stomach full and you, you will be sick, you know? So there's nothing outside of you that you look, the sensorial object, that you will feel that really bring me happiness. When you when you, you, you're too much cold, you put your hands to the fire and you stay too long time, you will become suffering. It's all like that. So the real cause of happiness is inside, what we call the virtue. So we have the virtue of the mind, virtue of the body, and virtue of the speech, which the main one are the mind. So when you develop positive mental state, this one will always create happiness. It will always create more and more happiness. Not like the ice cream that you eat too much, you will be fall sick. But the real happiness will be increasing when you develop more compassion and peace and love and wisdom, so your happiness. So this is what we call real positive and negative. And for calming the agitation, actually, that's something that, yeah, we should learn. That's what we said like today, like when we uh, want to do meditation, first we should learn. So there is example, uh, after also you can take, we have like the flyer, the same image you see there, okay? The uh, poster like with the nine stages of calm abiding represent the monkey as the agitation of the mind. So through, for calming the agitation, so there's many uh, explanation, more detail like that, but mainly it's through the power of mindfulness or what we call attention to keep the mind on a virtuous object. First, we think about something positive, we imagine something positive, we focus on that, we keep with mindfulness and we prevent the mind to be distracted with vigilance. So it's mainly through the power of mindfulness and vigilance that we can do that. But something to explain more in detail, yeah, we need to a little bit learn about that, yeah. Thank okay, you. thank you. Mm -hmm. Somebody?